Hi fellas, David here, home brew review time. Um, got a fantastic uh, selection of beers sent by uh, Christian Brew Bear, so I'm gonna. I think I've done one, did one on the, um, the live uh, blog with uh, Old Fart uh, Jim. So tonight we've got uh, this Mountain Goat Steam Beer, 4.7%, um, nice tight. Uh, Bottle there, so uh, carbonation looks good. Right, I've not had um, a steam beer off memory, but maybe I have, I can't remember. But it's not a very common beer, I don't really know much about steam beers. Um, so I've uh, just picked up this book uh, to read, uh, explain to myself and to you guys out there what uh, a steam beer entails. So uh, just bear with me. Um, okay. Many people assume steam beer is a reference to the steam driven engines that transformed the brewing industry during the Industrial Revolution. There are a few breweries that use the word steam in this context, but in San Francisco it has a more precise meaning. It refers to a style now confined to a single brewery, where both ale and lager techniques combine to produce um, a beer with richness and fruitiness of an ale and quenching characteristics of a lager. It was a style created during the Californian gold rush, which survives and flourishes today due to the passion of a man who saved his local brewery and in doing so helped launch the American beer revolution. Okay, but, uh, a little bit there on uh, Anchor Steam beer, but uh, it's not exactly the same, we're going to pour this and have a look. So basically I think what it, it was to do with, uh, they couldn't find low, low temperatures uh, like in Bavaria, so they used a different method. I think they brewed it, to be honest, I think they brewed it similar to home brewers who brew a lager, but not a uh, lager in temperatures, like a yeah, ale yeast, something like that. So, uh, let's uh, crack it open and have a look. Watch this there. Smoke coming off. Let's pour it all up. Sure, if you uh, do get any head on this, so we can have a bit of a pressy pour, see what uh, happens. First look, pretty clear, not crystal clear, but massive lots of carbonation there. Um, a little bit hazy, very much like um, appearance to me, very much like Hoppy Pale Ale or something like that. Had dissipated straight away. Um, but I think, it's, it's, I think it's, if it is like a, a lager type beer, that happens anyway, so it's nothing to be uh, concerned about. Isn't it? I'd say, not the hoppiest, uh, more malts coming through there. Like a crystal malt. I'm not sure exactly how Christian brewed this. I think he did. Um, a recipe which Tube Dino's did, I've not seen the video for a long time, but I didn't want to prejudice um, what's gone before, but it's a fantastic looking beer. And actually, our head is actually increasing as, it, as we go on. Carbonation is actually bang on. So, uh, let's dive in and have a look. Oh! That is nice. Um, more body to it than a lager. Um, so. Sweet on the front, a little bit of aftertaste on the uh, bitterness, but that is uh, a really refreshing beer. That and uh, in the UK, weather's gone off a bit, um, but hopefully it comes back in the next week or so. So because I'm going out there. Um, Oh, that is nice, that. 4.7%, very sessionable. Um, so you can get a bit ahead there. Lacing certainly there. It's a half finger head space. Um, oh, that's nice, that. Is it one I would do? I'm going to do these reviews. I'm going to do my own beer. I always like to think back. Is it something I would do? So 
certainly. That really is nice, refreshing that. Very much like a lager. Um, don't know how you brewed it, Chris, but a bit of a comment there because um, I really like that one. That really is tasty. Um, refreshing summer's drink, that. Um, something on the patio, barbecue, something like that. And 4.7% is uh, in the realms. It, it's, it's sessionable, 4.7%, it's not too bad at all. I think a few rolls on a sunny afternoon, and that is. Uh, that's so nice and refreshing, that. I don't know what the people think of this, but the culture try what Christian brought over, to me, it's very similar to that. Oh yeah, that's so nice that mate. I'm going to put my feet up, uh, I'm going to savour that because it really is a nice beer that mate. So cheers, well done Christian and uh, we'll look at your recipe. If it's on your channel then if not I'll have a look at Tudino to know you put it up there. But that is really, that's a really nice beer that. So uh, cheers again Christian. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, take care, enjoy the rest of the weekend and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.